Hey guys and welcome back to Beard Yu-Gi-Oh! So yes, I have been a bit quiet, life has been quite busy on my end. I've, you know, started a business which will get, will get that um, announced soon on the channel. Uh, there's a lot of work that's, that's busy going into it. Um, yeah, things have been pretty hectic. I am a dad finally, so that's great. Uh, lots of wonderful moments spent and yeah, so sorry if I've been a bit quiet, but Yeah, as you guys know life does go on and you know, you've got a lot of different aspects of your life besides just playing a game and you know Getting the time to do all the things is quite difficult sometimes. So I have also taken a little bit of a break from Earth Machines, so as you can see, we've got the Earth Machines over here. And I decided, now ah, let me take a little bit of a break, and yeah, I went and, and played Naturia for, for a bit. So that was really cool, Ishizu Naturias, I will definitely be making a video on those soon. And also, my sponsorship with Solar Pop has has ended, so thank you so much to to them for the opportunity that that they've given me and also the journey that we've shared along the way until now. But don't worry about that because next year we will be having some really exciting stuff happening. So yeah, today we're also going to be giving away the Dolphin Blast uh, booster box. For boxes from the last video so those will be the last uh, giveaways for, for a bit I will still continue to try and, and get giveaways going as, as things go on um, but yeah and then I'm also pretty excited hopefully we can start getting those where you go tournaments up again so yeah drop a comment down below to let me know if you guys would like uh, some more Beard Yu Go tournaments. Anyway, so today we've got the Earth Machine deck profile, and I specifically decided to, to make this version of Earth Machines to go up against tier. Alright, we're in this, this format, you gotta prepare for it, and I was like, well, you know. I can't, I can't do anything about it until we get Battles of Legend, you know. And so once we got that, I was like, right, it's time. Let me, let me take this. Let me give Naturia a bit of a break. People think I'm playing Naturias, and let me take Earth Machines for once. And so, my personal opinion on this list specifically is it's a little bit more casual. I would say uh, I don't I wouldn't necessarily be taking it to, to a competitive event so I would take it to like the locals which could work pretty well especially if you're gonna be facing against uh, tier elements funny enough the deck did its job and I was able to 2-0 tier on the day which was really cool so yeah, our locals are, are quite quite small, so we, we only had three rounds. Round one was against Sprite. We went into time, I, I just, just lost that one. Um, and then round two was against Tier, two of them. Then round three, I faced Dark World and two of them as well. So it was really, really cool, really enjoyed it. And yeah, before we get into the deck profile, let's see who our first winner yes i'm doing it in two little segments first winner of the dark wing blast box will be and then at the end of the profile i'll be showcasing the second winner just you know keep you guys tuned in anyway let's get into that okay guys let's see who is the first one of the Darkwing Blast box. Alright. 
first winner we have got is Aaron Watson. Congratulations. You can contact me in Discord to get your prize. Alright, so we are back and let's get on to our main deck. So, firstly, this is a 50 card Earth Machine deck. I don't know why I chose that, but I did. And surprisingly, it did quite well. So, for our Infinitrack package, we've got two copies of Harvester. I decided not to really run three. Also, my reasons, I've got no idea. I've just been enjoying two Harvester, to be honest. Um, one Anchor Drill for our extra little plays. And then we are playing three copies of Brutal Dozer, one copy of Trencher, and one copy of Tunneler. So this is basically standard. You don't really want to mess around with, with any of, of these ratios, except maybe you put a Harvester to three if you want. All right, next up, we got our Machina package. We got one, one Cruncher. Yeah, I'm only playing one Cruncher, one Fortress, and one Citadel. So, yeah, I don't really care about doing the whole Cruncher play. Everyone's like, oh, Cruncher, Cruncher. As long as I got the three Dozer for this Cruncher to resolve, I'm happy. All right, so because I'm, I usually run a bigger Furnacell, package than anyone else that I've seen um, you know just playing one cruncher playing these odd little ratios really doesn't hurt you at all the bonus officers add so much to the, the deck actually all right moving on we have got our little trains we have got one bullet and one dairy crane so I would say that you should definitely um, play these obviously one of each is 100% fine you could bump up dairy crane to two if you want to but it's really not necessary and then we've got the one copy of regulus and the one copy of box to finish off our machine package moving on to our burn assaults we have got Three copies of the new Venusol of the Missing Seedlings. This card is super cool, and we've got one copy of Flourishing Hills. So this essentially means we've got four searches in our Venusol uh, engine. Then I decided to play two copies of Awakening Forests, and you'll see basically why. But yeah, Awakening Forest I decided to run two copies of. And then one Flowering Mountains. And yes, I do run Furnaceal of the Flowering Fields. The reason for this is because if you open box, you can use this. Yes, this is a dead card when, when you have nothing in your grave. But once you get something in your grave, and it's not really that difficult. But if you open that box, you can just pitch the box, add the box, get a search, and sp still get a special summon. So... I still really believe in playing one copy of the flowering field. Right, so that is the Burner Sulfur engine. Then we get on to the extra spice. So I'm running three copies of Caldo, the Sacred Protector, and three copies of Midora, the Sword Oracle. Right, we're playing against tier guys, obviously. I bought this specifically for that matchup and so playing three copies of each of these is really nice you get to once they see you're not playing tier or something that's really grave line they think oh it's just basic earth machines this Ooh. this allows you to basically just capitalize off of them milling you with with these sheets of stuff so you could have a little bit of interruption you know waste a little bit of their resources and earth machines can play through quite a bit already so just by slowing them down you just 
helping yourself even further. Right, then moving on to the spell cards. We have got three copies of redeployment. Then three copies of heavy forward. So these are essentially our searches. Then we are also running three copies of urgent schedule and three copies of the new clockwork knight so this card is really really good the nice thing about clockwork knights is you can send it to grave with redeployment you can send it to grave with um you know anchor knuckle you can activate it and actually get rid of it through ballista by zeroing the, the opponent's monster's attack and get an easy otk that way plus this allows you to search for any machine monster in your deck so really really good and then the last card that i'm playing in the spell card stuff is three copies of super polymerization you don't really see this in earth machine builds because what are we going to super poly you know we lock ourselves into earth machines and everything yeah yeah that's when you're doing your combo not when you're busy playing in the opponent's turn so three copies of super poly really cool and that rounds off our spell lineup right moving on to the traps so since we're playing clockwork knight we might as well play rivalry of warlords so three rivalry rivalry is insane against here so if they don't have crime then you can just bam rivalry them and that's pretty much it the field spell the field spell can pop it but yeah you usually once you resolve this you basically just win the game then we are running one copy of overdrive and that's not all i'm also running two other traps and it is a gravekeeper's trap and one copy of exchange of the spirit so the reason for this is because this is cracked against any grave reliant deck and i mean just getting hand knowledge like you get to see what the opponent's drawing the whole time is just insane it's just really really good the nice thing is that because you're running the fairy engine you can get this lock quite easily so that is it for the main deck and let's move on to the extra deck right so extra deck we have got three copies of goliath now i'm not i'm not running the gear version obviously as you as you saw i decided to go straight back to like dozer control but it's more like dozer grave control and so obviously the deck's not as explosive as what the gear frame version is but also did you see any dark monsters in in my main no so i don't get turn one bestial and all that rubbish so yeah very very safe actually then one copy of ballista and our final link monster we've got one knuckle so this is all you need to be honest you don't need to be playing you know nightmare phoenix and all that type of stuff we don't have to worry about mystic mine anymore so yeah really really chilled then moving on to our seed monsters we have got one river stormer one earth slicer and then we also have the one gustav I mean Superdora, lol. One Gustav and one Lieb. So these are your standard ones that you play. And then I'm also running one Dweller. The reason why I'm, I'm running Dweller is because the... Firstly, you can get two level fours on board pretty easily, especially through the Venusilf engine. So setting up a turn one dweller 
is pretty pretty easy. Also the Ishizu cards, Kaldo and Midora, they can just bring themselves out as extenders and then you can make Gala. So quite easy and then you've got obviously Anchor Drill which can summon a box and then instead of doing the level man uh, manipulation you can then just go into your Dwala. Speaking of level manipulation, modulation, we are running the Wanding Dirsu and we are also running one Zeus. So I really like Ding Dirsu, it helps you to out boards where you can't target certain cards like Evermax for example. Uh, Zeus also same thing but the nice thing is that you can easily make 4 material Zeus with Ding Dirsu or you can just make Dweller, Detach, Go Zeus and then wipe the board and not worry about any grave effects. And lastly, the final cards in our deck is one Garura and one Dracus Video. These cards are just insane against the meta right now. So Garura is, is quite nice. The nice thing is that these coupled with Clockwork Knight is just stupid because this would, these would then be machines, which means that's your level 8, so you can have easy rank 10 access through um, Harvester. This one with Drill rank 10 access. You can make Dengirsu with this in Harvester, you can make Zeus straight with this and, and Drill. So yeah, really really cool. And I mean, if you if you have this and you can bring out um, another level eight, for example, like you level manip ma manipulate the the drill with like a box, for example, then you can use the box and and Drake's to be able to go into doing so You know, you can do stupid little things like that. Um, not that you really would, but the options are there. Really cool. This gives you draw one. This gives you a negate really really good right now so that is it for the deck profile and then let's get on to the second giveaway of the darkwing blast box so yeah as you guys remember the two boxes that were being that were being given away and yeah let's get into that quickly all right guys let's see who is the winner of the second Darkwing Blast box. So yeah, let's spin the wheel. Okay, and our second winner is John Hughes. Congratulations, man. You can contact me in Discord to get your box to you. Right, so that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for, for all your support so far. I will definitely be making more videos in the coming days and everything. And also, you guys can stay tuned to the channel for a little bit of a combo tutorial of this simplistic little version of Earth Machines. It's like Vernisil Ishizu. <laughs> Dozer control, whatever. I don't know how how you would really call this, but yeah, I would say Dozer grave control basically. And yeah, really really cool. Really enjoyed it, and it did its it did its job. It was pretty surprising. So I would urge you guys to try something different like this. You know, you never know if it might work. Fifty cards does sound like quite a bit, but. You know, there's so many little niche things that you can do with this deck. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.